A much awaited remake to the 2005 Rescue from the Mer People is finally here and by far is my most anticipated set of the March 2023 LEGO Harry Potter wave. This is the Triwizard Tournament The Black Lake and by far is one of my favourite mid-range priced sets that they have ever done. The non-Hogwarts sets currently are my favourite thing that LEGO Harry Potter is putting out and I think is where the best sets are lying and this set is absolutely no exception. It is set 76420 and will release on March 1st for 70 Australian dollars, 45 US dollars and 40 great british pounds. It has a relatively low piece count at only 349 pieces and ended up being a pretty quick build due to just how many large elements there are but honestly I actually quite liked it. Much like the original set too you get five amazing minifigures. Starting off we have Harry Potter in his second task attire. He has a new face print which essentially takes the classic older years face and just adds a couple of lines to represent the sides for his gillyweed gills. The torso honestly feels a little bit plain to me overall despite still looking good. I put it download to the design of the back printing as well as the Hogwarts crest primarily because they seem overly simple compared to some of the other Lego prints that are out there. He comes along with his wand as well as some light nougat flippers which I think are super neat while also being a little bit creepy. Victor Crumb is fantastic despite not having any leg printing or dual molded legs to represent his super short swimming trunks I think Lego did a fantastic job. He has a new face print which is a major upgrade to the one that they used to use and has a brand new alternate head which is quite disturbing disturbing on its own, but works so well with the alternate shark head piece that they gave him. Crumb also got an updated hair piece, though I feel like the Falcon CMF hair would have been much better, but given the double-sided head print and how intense it is as well, I get why it wasn't used. Next up is Ron, who actually has a new head print for his main facial expression, and then of course a sleepy head on the other side. Unlike the rest of his Goblet of Fire minifigures previously, they also gave him the side-swept hair piece this time around, which given that he's underwater and wet essentially for the context of the set, personally I think works really well. Hermione is pretty much the same as usual and also very similar to Ron although her head print actually just has the same usual expression on one side and of course the sleeping on the other. I really wish that they gave her a unique face print instead of reusing the same one since they were going to give her a different design on the alternate head however it's certainly not a deal breaker. Lastly is the Black Lake Mermaid who has some amazing prints and parts usage. The video mermaid tail and hair piece are recolored and give a very very different feel and vibe to those in the video wave and in combination with the head and the torso prints creates such an accurate representation of these creepy looking things. The Black Lake set this time around depicts both the water and the tower above the surface which personally I think was a really really cool decision and made for a much more interesting set overall. Not only that too it is actually made up of two separate sections that you can piece apart one of course representing the tower and the other representing the lake itself. And given that there are technically three of these throughout the movie as well, it makes this set very easy to go out and purchase multiple of, giving you multiple mermaids, multiple Grindelows, and overall just creating a much more accurate scene. Which speaking of the Grindelow, it is a brand new specially molded piece in this really cool shiny sort of pearlescent type of purple. It's not quite translucent, I don't really know what to call this colour, but it looks incredible. He has a bunch of tiny little tentacles around, and even has some little hands that you can hold onto because they've made the ends thick enough that a minifigure can grab them. On the sea floor though there's really not anywhere to put him specifically when it comes to I guess just like making it look like he's swimming and same deal with the mermaid. There are quite a few exposed studs though on the sides of this build which I guess you could attach a couple of pieces onto. Like really I feel like it could have done with a little superhero stand somewhere so that they could look like they're swimming because really the only essence that you've got of some sea life being alive down there is this little fish clipped onto the build which I really really like but I wish that there was a little bit more. Given that we had two additional sea creatures outside the fish and the crab on the bottom. That small aspect aside, I absolutely love how the sea floor was done. Now admittedly this whole thing is a very basic design overall, there are no really crazy techniques or really intricate pieces or anything like that, but I actually really really liked it and I think it works to this set's advantage. The ocean floor luckily has enough greenery that the whole thing feels alive, though I think it certainly could have done with maybe just a tiny bit more, and as a personal preference too I would have preferred to see dark green rather than the bright green just to make it look a bit more creepy and murky like it is in the film, but despite that I think the whole thing comes together really nicely. The build as well still has that iconic stone archway present which doubles the stability too for the entire tower as a whole. My favourite aspect by far though is the chains that Ron and Hermione attach to. This is so well done. The whole system is made to look like they are floating and just the way that it is built as well actually makes it feel like they're floating as you sort of move them around. The whole thing is basically suspended off these little 
little like Technic rubbery pieces. I love the fact that it is strong enough to hold up the minifigures, but loose enough that they wobble and really have that weightlessness in the water effect going on. It is just such a really, really clever and really interesting build technique and is so well done. Moving on up, we have the surface part of the build and despite how I guess like simple and empty it is, it actually contains some really neat play features. Firstly is this little diving board function. If you hit the little gray notch in the back, this entire front panel will flip up and make your champions go diving into the black lake. It is super simple, but I really like it. And then additionally as well, there is this little notch at the top which you can spin and make the entire clock turn. I mean, it's not quite as exciting, but I'm glad that they've been able to fit two of them in such a small space. I really love how the roof looks being curved and also being colored sand green. I think it looks really cool. And the interior as well is really nice to have, even though it is quite minimal. However, it does have a little reference to Gillyweed at the same time, which is a neat Easter egg for fans. The top floor is certainly not to scale with the minifigures, but overall it gives this really cool effect of forced perspective in a way. It's not quite built up at the angle that real forced perspective would be, but when you stick the whole tower together, it makes the water look a lot deeper than it actually is. Overall, the set is a lot more bare bones than I expected, but that doesn't mean that it is lacking in any sort of way. I absolutely love this set. It is very reminiscent, especially in terms of build of the earlier 2000 sets, just by how many large pieces there are, but I think that adds to the charm of the set overall. It's got everything that you would need for this scene, but also gives you so much opportunity to modify it and make it look even better, and that is something that I would personally really love to try. If you're only planning on getting one set from the wave, I definitely recommend this. It did feel a little bit expensive when building it just because of how little pieces there were and how quickly it took me, but once finished, it certainly felt worth it. Let me know your thoughts on this set in the comments down below, and if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel down below, and be sure to check out the rest of my LEGO Harry Potter reviews on the end screen now.